Hello everybody and welcome to the series finale of The Mything Link, the tipsy talk show obsessed with all things mythological, from the icons to the iconauts. Ugh. I'm Bob Hewis. And I'm Ali Mottram, and we are the co-hosts who are just as shocked as you that we got to the last episode of series one. <laughs> we did it. We did. <laughs> this series, you have joined us on a journey through some of the most infamous, the most questionable, and the most iconic characters from Greek mythology. And if you followed along on our Mystery Monday, mm. you may have already guessed, but today, we are going to be breaking the silence surrounding the OG bad boy, the Ooh. king of the underworld, <gasps> and my one true love, Hades. Yes! Icon, icon, <laughs> icon! <laughs> what a finale. Going out with a bang. We That's really are. That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, love it. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my goodness. But before we dive into the underworld, um, a few housekeeping notices. First of all, <laughs> Many apologies. <laughs> I mean, yes, this is a week late, but you know what? It's worth it. It's worth we, we're just it, guys. Build, that's it. It's all a publicity stunt. We're just building up the uh, excitement, the anticipation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, we hope that you caught us on BBC Upload. If you did not manage to catch the episode, uh, it is available in our bio on our Instagram, which is at the Mything Link all one word, all lowercase, so go check it out. We had a bunch of fun with Martha Mangan on BBC Radio Humberside, and uh, <laughs> it was a party, <laughs> so go join in. It was great. <laughs> you can go listen to our slightly muffled voices via a phone yes, call. Yes, <laughs> uh, mine is incredibly windy, I apologise. <laughs> yeah. I was at the beach. <laughs> oh, yes, just enjoying the sun, soaking up the rays, and I love that every time before you spoke, there's like a prelude of like, <laughs> it was just yeah. like the, the fires <laughs> of hell very in keeping with the episode it was like she has arisen <laughs> I loved it yes so very exciting it is the series finale and uh, just before I grab my beverage which is just by my side it is a very exciting episode because today we crown ourselves a winner yes. <laughs> an icon of the series yes so at the moment heading the pack is Sisyphus, baby. Sisyphus. Miss Sisyphus. <laughs> Our sister Sisyphus is heading the pack, but who knows, maybe Hades could sweep in at the last minute and take the top spot. You'll just have to listen and find listen. out. Woo! And so, you know, can't believe I'm saying this for the final time, but girl, <coughs> my throat is so dry. I need a drink. <laughs> I need oh, nice. a drink. <laughs> What are you drinking today, love? I am going for a nice, classy palm violet gin and lemonade. Ooh. We're all Ooh, out of fruit, which lovely. is sad, um, but mm. I'm just imagining it's there. Yes. Manifest the raspberries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that a very fitting ending to our first series of The Mything Link, that I would pull myself a, an homage to you, my sister, my my thifter from another mister. <laughs> <laughs> so I too have got myself a delicious gin and tonic. But nice. it's a blood orange gin Ooh, and tonic. Because <gasps> I thought nice. with this underworld theme, it's creepier. See, this this works actually mm. for this episode because it's like your blood orange, like very like earthy, like with the tonic. Mm. And then I've got my palm of violet gin, very summery, very much like... Hades mm. and Persephone. Ooh. Ooh. You'll be finding out a lot about them. Ooh, in getting this into episode. the relationship. I love it. Well, cheers to that. Cheers to the mything link. The final and episode. Cheers to Hades. <laughs> and I can't wait to get into it, girl. All right, this one. I'm looking forward to this episode. I've got to say. Mm. So let's start with finding out what you already know on your, I'm assuming, Ooh. mostly Disney based knowledge of Hades. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. So let me, let me bring up the stopwatch. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm so ready. Three, two, one. Go. Right, most of this knowledge is going to be Hercules based, but that's what we're here for. So I'm thinking fiery head, sassy one-liners. I hope this is all part of the real mythology because like, that's what I love about Hades. I'm thinking uh, quips, uh, underworld, as you said, Persephone, 
uh, I think she's the goddess of the underworld, so I think they got they're in some kind of relationship kind of deal. And um um um, um he he's 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 on the other side of the sticks. He takes people. He uh, That's bodies. Time, okay. time, time. <laughs> bodies. <laughs> I've got to say, I definitely see the Hercules influence. Mm -hmm. I, well, here's the thing. There is not, no source that says Mm -hmm. that Hades has fire for her, but there's also no source that says (laughs) Hades doesn't have fire for her. So, I mean, really, let's just (laughs) imagine in our minds that he does. That's fine. Yes, in my head he does. (laughs) So I was, I was, you know, impressed a bit, a Mm -hmm. little bit. Thank you. Um, but we will <laughs> we'll delve into the three, not really stories, but we've got kind of three vague areas of facts coming at you. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'll preface this with, so, you know, Hades, god of the underworld, mm-hmm. and um, the Greeks were, like, hella afraid of him. Okay. Like, they were petrified, Ooh. so they wouldn't even speak his name. <gasps> we're talking, like, Voldemort level, oh. you know... He oh who shall God. not be named. I love that. <laughs> that's so funny. As if that's a real thing. I mean, I know. maybe JK was inspired, heavily inspired maybe. <laughs> by heavily this. Heavily inspired by Hades. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. I love that. Uh, but because of this, you know, there weren't really any myths about him because mm. everyone was too afraid to kind of make myths up about him. <gasps> so there's kind of, I've got two main stories mm. and then I'm also going to tell you a bit of background about the underworld. Ooh. So we'll start there. <gasps> we'll start with Hades Man Cave, the underworld. Man cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm falling into his man cave. <laughs> <laughs> The underworld. Mm. So I'm imagining where most people think of the underworld, uh, the underworld. <laughs> when most people think of the underworld, it's yes. like you know, it's underground. It's mm. like dark and Slimy. dingy, basically the equivalent of hell. Mm. Right. Yes. However, mm. contrary to kind of modern religion, the underworld was just where everyone went. Everyone that died went there, Ooh. whether they were good, whether they were bad. There was no up. It was all down. All down. All down, oh. baby. <laughs> I mean, that seems fair. At least then everyone's in the same place. Well, yes. And you know what's coming to you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, um, obviously there were different like sections of the underworld, mm-hmm. um, places where the bad people went, and the places where the good people went. So, oh, nice. to get to the underworld, yes. Hermes, Hermes, my guy, would come along and just take you over to the River Styx. Okay. You know, you'd, nice. you have to be paying your two obbles to Charon, who was the ferryman. Karen. <laughs> to Karen, the ferryman, the ferry woman. <laughs> Karen likes to get her coin. <laughs> she does. <laughs> so you pay Karen, <laughs> otherwise she's going to want to see the manager. <laughs> so you yep. pay her <laughs> with money that, I think if I remember correctly, people put on your eyeballs. <laughs> When yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where the uh, the tradition of putting coins on your eyes came from. Because nice. it's two obbles, two coins, good times. Obbles. Is... Ob- <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a, a legitimate ancient Greek currency is obbles. <laughs> nice. So, I have been taken down by Hermes. Funnily enough, my package today, <laughs> my underwear, not underworld, <laughs> came from Hermes. <laughs> It's a sign. We'll post uh, my underwear on the on the, on the ground, <laughs> <laughs> so you can all get into that. So we are we have been taken to the River Styx. We paid Karen. She's happy. She's got her monies. But what happens if you don't pay her? So if you don't pay her, it's kind of a rough deal. I won't lie to you. Okay. Uh, you basically have to stay on the wrong side of the River Styx for a oh, hundred um... years. <gasps> you just gotta sit there and wait. A oh, hundred years, girl. Calm down. Yeah, well, this is why, um, so, like, in ancient Greek, like, men were, like, super afraid of dying at sea. Like, dying okay. in battle, great. They loved it. They, but if yeah. you die at sea, there's mm-hmm. no one to recover your body. You don't get buried properly, which means mm-hmm. you can't get across the sticks. So sailors are probably like, uh-oh, can't die at sea. Yeah, basically. Right. So, hopefully you do have your money. And yes. if you don't, you're stuck on this side of the river sticks for a hundred years, which I, because I imagine you don't feel great if you're stuck, I mean, there's no food, where's the snacks? No, the buffet's on the other side of the river like, sticks. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> not great. But then 
Let's say, hypothetically, I did have my obbles. I gave them to Karen. <laughs> and now I'm on the other side of the river sticks. What do I do now? Where do I go? So there's <laughs> loads of different... This is like, it's like great. There's like different like rings of the underworld. Ooh. Like there's loads of places you can go. Some mm-hmm. of them, it's, it's really weird, to be honest with you. Yes. So it, like in the Aeneid, there's like a really good description of hell and also obviously in Dante's Inferno there's a mm-hmm. lot there but like the the general consensus is there's like multiple places you can go yes. in the Aeneid there are really like, weird specific ones like places where you go if you've like died but you've been wrongly judged <laughs> all those people have they've got like a little group chat there they're <laughs> chilling in one yeah. part of the underworld and then like people who have been like wronged by their lovers people who commit suicide Whoa. you know it's really Super weirdly specific. cut up yeah I mean what if you okay <laughs> Hera should go to where the people who were wrongly judged should go because girl she should have won that pageant she should have won that goddamn pageant mm-hmm. however she was also mistreated by her lover, Zeus. So where's she gonna go? Intersectionality, sisters. Get on board. I mean, where are you supposed to Maybe go? Maybe it's like a, a big Venn diagram. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> interlapping section. Maybe there's like a BuzzFeed quiz at the start. Karen does a BuzzFeed <laughs> quiz, and it's like yes. based on your do you uh, Starbucks order, will we'll tell you which ring of hell you deserve <laughs> to go to. <laughs> I kind of love this though. That it's like it's it's like it it doesn't really matter what you do in life because you'll go to the underworld anyway. So just live yeah. your life how you want to live it and then deal with the consequences later. I'm I'm here for that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so obviously there's there's a good place mm-hmm. in the underworld. Nice. Um and it's like basically it's like like green fields, you've mm-hmm. got a little river going through it. Everyone's nice. pretty happy there. Mm-hmm. Pretty happy there. Um, gorgeous. And then you've got the opposite side of the coin, <laughs> which is Tartarus, which <gasps> If you, if we know from last week's episode, where's where Sisyphus ended up. Um, so oh, you don't want to be there. N- no, you don't. <laughs> you do not want to be there. Uh, we've got a lot of very inventive kind of um, punishments. We mm-hmm. obviously Sisyphus rolling the rock up the hill, falls mm-hmm. back down. We've got Prometheus. This one is maybe my idea of personal hell. Is <laughs> where he like gets tied up to a rock, and then. Vultures just come and peck at his insides, his guts, every oh, single God. day. They feed in <laughs> on their intestines. Oh. You know, it's super gross. Sweet mother of God. <laughs> and what if yeah. Prometheus, Prometheus stole back the fire that Zeus yep. stole from the humans? Mm-hmm. Don't piss off Zeus because like, he really. is... He is fragile. <laughs> he is insecure down boots. He really is. That's, that's concerning that... Neither Prometheus nor Sisyphus really did anything wrong. They just did stuff that annoyed Zeus. Honestly, I don't even think, like, the murderers end up in Tartarus. What? It's just the people that pissed off the gods. Gr- like, it, up, you, yeah. it makes Zeus. no sense. <laughs> He's mad. That is so, he is mad. That's so annoying that he gets to just... Like, how come he gets to choose the punishment? If, if like, the underworld is Hades' realm, surely Hades should be like... Um, he's good. You know, Sisyphus is good. He's very clever and we love him, so he's going to the good place. I don't know, it just seems unfair that Zeus can just be like, no, he made me look stupid. (laughs) Vultures. (laughs) I agree with that, honestly. So that is that is basically your your run of the mill underworld mm. from you know start to finish. Yeah, that's where you are. There has been like in some literature, like in the Aeneid, there was a whole thing that like the warriors can can be reincarnated. Basically, like oh. if you've been really good, you yes. go down to the underworld mm-hmm. and then you go back up to Earth as a new person. Oh. Forget obviously everything about your past life. Right. And so, you know, that's a oh, bit damn. of fun. If you're, if you're like a super hero man, you can yeah. live again. <laughs> Way! <laughs> Party! <laughs> that's fun. It is. I mean, but but do you have to come back and then do you think you have to be a soldier again? Or is it up to you? Because you've forgotten everything about your life. I, I imagine probably that because it's like, you know, 
if you're like a like a warrior hero in ancient mm. Greece, it's like it's in your soul. Yes. So you wouldn't soul. have to be a soldier, but you but would you choose would be to anyway. be a soldier because you know that's yeah. what you that's what you are born to be. It's in your blood. That yes. Sort of stuff. Well, I'm I feel very well acquainted now with the underworld, and I want to know more about my man Hades and how he runs the place. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. Moving on to story number two. Yeah. <laughs> this is the story about Hades and Persephone. <gasps> We're the story of our gins right now, you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. Razor toes. <laughs> We're, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the main stories. When people think Hades, they think Persephone. And this is kind of... You know the main story about him. It's mm-hmm. a, it's a. The gods never really did dating normally. Mm-hmm. It's an alternative approach okay. that kind of includes, you know, kidnapping. But oh, well, uh, I wouldn't expect well, anything I'll less. I'll just tell you the story. I'll just tell you the story. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Hades <laughs> and Persephone. <laughs> sure, sure. You know what I just realised? What? If you, much like Voldemort, if you rearrange the letters of Hades, it spells shade. <laughs> oh, so he really no. is the shady queen. I can't wait shady to see what Hades, he does. Yes. Shady, shady Hades. <laughs> Damn, well, tell me what he does to, to Miss Persephone, because I want to know. Okay. <laughs> Persephone. So, yes. some background about Persephone. Her mm-hmm. mother is Demeter, and Demeter was one mm-hmm. of the OG. Oh, could you check Demeter? That reminds me. I think my water bill's oh, no. probably Please don't make a Demeter joke now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that I've said that, okay. we can continue. Okay, we can move on. Um, Demeter. Yes. Mm. Uh, she was one of the like the OG six. After Zeus defeated Kronos. Oh, yes. So, you know, Mm -hmm. she's pretty big business. She is, Mm -hmm. like, the goddess of, like, spring and, like, like harvest and stuff like that. So she is pretty much responsible for humans being alive, really, because if there's no harvest, there's no food, and if there's no fruit, we're dead, you know? Mm -hmm. Gotta get your snacks. Mm -hmm. I like that. And Persephone is her daughter, and she lives in the mortal realm, which is a bit Mm -hmm. weird. Most most goddesses live in Olympus. So Persephone is a goddess, but she just lives in the mortal... Okay. So she is just chilling in a field one day, Mm -hmm. picking some flowers, and Hades... I don't know why he's there, but he walks up and he sees her and instantly just falls in love with her. Like, he is like, this woman, I love her. She's the best. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Yes. Um, And so instead of, like, going up to her and saying, hey, you know, how you doing? All that sort of stuff. Mm. He instead opens up a hole in the ground and um, abducts her to Hades, (laughs) which is a questionable way of doing things. Shady Hades, that's not right. Shady Hades, That's not how we do things uh, here in in Greece. (laughs) Here in ancient Greece. (laughs) Or or really anywhere, honestly. I mean, (laughs) it's not geographically specific. We just don't don't do do it. No. And so I imagine Persephone's a little bit like, um, cool. Didn't see that one coming, but... (laughs) Yeah, she's a bit like... I'd rather not. not great. No. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm good. Uh, so when everyone like realised that mm-hmm. Persephone had been abducted, um, Hermes mm-hmm. basically says to Hades, Yo, you've, you've got to return her. Nice. You know, you've made a mistake here. Demeter yeah. is pissed. She's mm-hmm. threatening to just like kill everything oh. and make all the mortals die. And that oh. would not be great. No, would not be great. Um, and so they, I don't honestly know why they came up with this as the way to get Persephone back. But basically they were like, if Persephone doesn't eat anything, mm-hmm. then she can, she can go back up to the, to the mortal realm. And okay. for me, I, that would be it. It's done. Cause it's I'd already... get down there and I'd be like, where are the snacks? Honestly. <laughs> I'd be honestly two donuts in. I'd be like, wait, what? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hear you over my incessant chowing down. I've got to eat. <laughs> Couldn't hear over the crunching. That's so funny. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I'd be done. Sorry, that, that ain't gonna work for me. <laughs> she doomed. She doomed. So, uh, Hades manages to trick her into eating a pomegranate seed. I don't know why that's what he picked. It's not the most appetizing food, mm, no? Not worth it. I'm like, if you're gonna cross the line, if you're gonna cross that boundary, which you know shouldn't, 
I mean, go for yeah. something like filling. Like, a full like a, roast. Like a cake, something, something at least. Come on. Like, this Come is on. ridiculous. Well, you know what? Uh, fool me to eat. Shame on you. Fool me to eat a pomegranate seed. Yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a damn fool. I, I, I can't. So, uh, so <laughs> obviously, you know, uh, Persephone ate the pomegranate seed. So, instead of uh, just living in the underworld, Hades, you know, kind of relented and was like, all right, she'll live in the underworld for half of the year mm -hmm. and she'll live up with her mother for the other half, okay, which nice. is in quite a cool roundabout way, the way that the ancient Greeks would describe like the passing of the seasons. So oh. Demeter makes the crops grow. So when Persephone is up with her, the crops are growing, everything's nice. living. And when she goes back down to live with Hades, uh, Demeter kills everything and is really super sad. Oh, that's really beautiful. I like that. I think it's cute. That's poetic. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What a nice way of explaining the Caesars. So Hades, so, I don't know, like, do I, I don't know though, because still he didn't come off too well in the story. Well, no, but well, I'll just add on a little bit on the end Ooh. about Persephone's life with Hades. You okay. know, um, in a lot of kind of the myths, mm -hmm. Demeter was a very over overbearing mother and, okay. you know, Persephone didn't have a great time, I don't think. And then down in the underworld, uh, Hades, I mean, he treated her pretty well. He was the only god who never cheated on his wife. Uh -huh. He treated her as an equal, like with Hera uh -huh. and Zeus. Ooh. Like mm -hmm. it's Zeus, he's the king of the gods. Yes. And then Hera is his wife. And Hera. But, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But in the underworld, it's Persephone and Hades, they ruled as equals. <gasps> oh. It was, you know, he, he very much treated her like you would in a modern, day, apart from, you know, the abduction. <laughs> in, like, a more, it's like equal. There's, it's not the woman, it's under the man. So I kind of, I respect him for that. I enjoy that. Yes. Well done, Hades. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, well, he's back up in my esteem then. I was worried for a second there, but you had me. You had me, girl, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on the Hades train. <laughs> All right, then. Yes. Time for story number three. Story number three, is it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I will say again that uh, there were not very many myths about Hades. So this right. is kind of a myth featuring Hades. So it's like Kesha feet Pitbull. Yes. It's going down like, a mule and yeah. timber. This is myth feet Hades. So who, yes. who's the uh, starring? Who's the starring role? So the starring roles are given to Orpheus and Eurydice. <gasps> Ooh, Orpheus and Eurydice, what names. I know, they're what, great what names, beauty. aren't they? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> And what's the title yes. of this? What is the title of our final story of the final oh, episode? <gasps> <laughs> the title is maybe not very fitting. It is the OG Taylor Swift. <gasps> wow! Straight back to Nashville. <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait. I don't even know where this could be going. All right, let's let's delve into the story. Shall we? <laughs> so we've got Orpheus. 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 Not to is be confused married. with Orpheus. <laughs> no, definitely not in any sense of the word to be confused with Orpheus. Please. <laughs> okay, Orpheus. You ready to see? All right, having a great time until you ready to see uh, gets bitten by a snake and dies. Oh. oh. That time. Well, damn, that was so. You may think this abrupt. is the end of the story, but it's just the beginning. <gasps> what? But I thought it was the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was just my story. They got married, was, she died. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I can't meet her, yeah. <laughs> nice. But this isn't the end. Ooh, now I'm intrigued. Okay. So, Orpheus, in true Taylor Swift style, was a very mm -hmm. gifted musician. Okay. So he played a song that was literally so sorrowful that everyone, be they mortal, be they god, knew of his grief. Ooh. I want to hear this song, honestly. Honestly? I do. What could it be? Oh. I'm so sad! <laughs> like... Strum, strum. <laughs> Oh, wait, sorry, that one was a bit pitchy. Let me just, yeah. Drum, drum. I believe it's in uh, G flat major, <laughs> G flat minor. <laughs> wow. So, you know, instead of just being like accepting his wife's death, he goes mm -hmm. down to the underworld to see his yes. wife. And usually, mm. this is a feat that is only reserved for like, we're talking heroes, we're talking um, Odysseus, Aeneas, mm. you know, like the big guys. 
and this guys. just little like liar playing dude is yeah. actually he's protected by the gods because they're like he can sing you know, I see some talent <laughs> he's got in what this, it takes you know? <laughs> he's got it we gotta protect he's going you. all the way yeah <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Work off yours. Exactly. So he goes down there. He plays mm-hmm. this song. Karen. Yes. She's like, okay, <laughs> I'll take you over. Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Uh, yes. He's like, chill. You just go right through, man. You go right <gasps> through. He's three-headed bopping his dog. three heads to the song. Oh, it's great. Oh, <laughs> God. All three of them loved it equally. <laughs> it's like the judges at X Factor. There's just like all three yes. heads were like, I didn't like it. I loved, I loved it. it. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he manages to make his way all the way into the underworld to see Hades. And mm. he plays his sad, sad, sad song for Hades. Yes. And mm-hmm. Hades is like, you know what? You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> you're going to be a star, You're going to be a star and I want to give your wife I see big things. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, what a reward. I thought yes. he was going to say like... Um, album, then world tour, and then <laughs> <laughs> straight to the magazine centerfold. Unfortunately, not. Uh, uh, we'll have to save that for was, later, obviously. Yes, uh, he said, uh, "I'll let you have your wife back if you can just do like a pretty, just a pretty, it's a simple task. It's not difficult. Mm-hmm. All you've got to do is walk out of the underworld. Eurydice is going to follow you." It's gonna be great. Okay. The only thing is you can't turn around to see if she's following you. You've just gotta keep looking forward. If huh. you turn around to look at her, deal's off, baby. Literally, oh, the gosh. I think it's the easiest way he could have Honestly, done it. Cause he couldn't have just said, all... have him back. Cause he's, you know, he's the god mm. of the underworld. He's got a yep. reputation. So he was like, I'll That's make it challenging. Yeah. But it's <laughs> not challenging challenge. in the slightest. Literally, of all the things we have encountered this series, we've had the the bronze the bro, the bronze hooved b- fire breathing bulls yes. we had them things <laughs> uh they were pretty beatable we had like what was it we had like the the never sleeping dragon never sleeping we had dragon. all these things crazy yeah. impossible tasks and all this dude has to do <laughs> is walk is walk that's it wow <laughs> well Orpheus got it good <laughs> he did if only he weren't such a doofus uh Girl, you're not telling me that he messes this up. I'm <laughs> this telling you, I am telling you that he, he's oh. the simplest thing in oh, human yes. existence. He had uh. actually, he messed it up. So he's walking, he's walking, he's walking. It's great. He can't mm-hmm. really hear you because he's footsteps behind him. So he'd be, he's like, you know, it's chill. Um, yes, he literally, he sees the exit of the underworld. It's like <gasps> maybe like oh. six feet away from him. And he's like, mm. I'm just going to check. I'm just going to check. Mm. I'm just going to check to see if she's there. How about there. no? And I can, if you'd have carried on for like five more seconds, it would have been seconds. grand. Girl. <laughs> been he turns amazing. around. He turns around. You really see, he sees her there. And then, bam. She disappears. Poof. She disappears. Wow. She disappears. <laughs> she disappears. <laughs> she disappears. You really see disappears. <laughs> She, she disappears. disappears back to the oh, underworld. No. <gasps> well, what a mess. I know. I have zero sympathy. You had no challenge. So, I have zero sympathy. You just have to well. walk. You know what, girl? You don't deserve your wife back. You don't deserve her. Foolish. Yeah. You know what's between his ears? <laughs> A blank space. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and Hades said, You I'll are never, never ever, 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 ever <laughs> getting back together. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a damn fool. Mm-mm. He is a damn fool. Um, so that is, I mean, I feel like we we kind of second-handedly learn quite a bit about Hades in this yeah. in this kind of story. You know, he he was learning. he was willing to work oh, with him. You know, yeah, give he him the pretty, easiest task ever. Yeah, he was pretty reasonable. I mean, his his requests were very doable. Sorry, Orpheus, I gotta say it, it's very doable. <laughs> very, <laughs> you're, you're just dumb. Yeah, yeah, I bet Hades is like. This is a foolproof task because I just I love love and I just want them to be together. <laughs> so I'll give them a foolproof. And then he was like, "Wait a minute," but he was a fool. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's all gone wrong. <laughs> and so that that is that is Hades. That oh. is basically wow. him in a in a in a nutshell. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. <laughs> How wonderful! Oh wow! Well, what a what a trip! What an adventure! <laughs> I mean, I've been taken around every ring, every orifice. 
oh I just can't get out of this underworld. <laughs> and we and we already know that Tartarus is a uh, a seedy place. That's a kind yeah. of nightclub you uh, you only go to once a month. <laughs> Otherwise, you got to go to the clinic. <laughs> so I mean, the underworld sounds like a party. I'm here for it. Same. And Hades, god of the underworld, is I mean just vibing. He's cool. Yeah, I, like I feel him. like he is just a god that just vibes because all of the other <laughs> gods get into so much drama. We've got yes. like in like the the Odyssey, it's all mm. about how pissed off Poseidon is at Odysseus. Mm. In the Aeneid, it's all about how pissed off Hera is about Aeneas. You know, like oh, they're gosh. always intervening, but Hades is just chilling down there. It's calm. You yeah. know, he's like, I'm good. I don't need and honestly, none of that drama. I feel sorry for him because he is like the only god that doesn't live on Olympus. What? He has to live down in the underworld, and it's only because when after Zeus um, defeated Kronos, they yes. just basically got three different coloured gems, put them in like Ooh. a hat, pulled how them fancy. out, Ooh. and then that <laughs> is how they decided who ruled the sky, the earth, and sea, and the underworld, and it was just by lot. And Pure now he luck. is just, everyone hates him. No one even says his name. What? And he has to live alone in in what? the underworld. Well, we have finally brought light to the, we've shed light on the icon that he is. Yes, we have. We, I hope in in part we have given him some of the recognition he deserves. Because that's, that's damned unfair. Mm-hmm. Well, that's weird that everybody thinks he's so scary when, that from what we've heard, he's Probably the least scary god we've dealt with so far. Exactly, and it's like as well, he's meant a lot of people confuse it with him being the god of death, but he's okay. he's not the god of death. Thanatos, he's the god of death. Um, and Hades is just the Thanatos. god of the underworld, you know. So he he doesn't he doesn't even have anything to do with who dies. Nope, that's he doesn't really the dies. fates. The fates choose who die. What? What? Hades. Hades! I, so he really has, he really is just a chill god who just does what he has yeah. to to make a buck. Yeah. Uh, that's tragic, and he deserves better. Yes, he does. Uh, so the clock is on the wall. We are counting <gasps> down to the last, what do you know now, of oh, season one of can't believe it. The Missing Link. Here we okay, go. Are you Ooh. ready? No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> Three. Two, one, go. Okay, so Hades, Poseidon, Zeus split up the mortal world picking gemstones and just by sheer luck, sheer dumb luck, he got the underworld, Hades got the underworld, the underworld is split up into sections, there's good sections, bad sections, but everybody goes to the underworld. He isn't got a death, Thanatos is a god of death, and other things that happened to him was, oh, he abducted Persephone, which wasn't good, but treated her as an equal, which is good. And he was very fair in the judgments that he gave, and he gave a very simple task to Orpheus, who was a damn fool, who failed, and... <gasps> oh, and that's, oh, damn that well, I managed to get everything that time, I was impressed. I like that, I, I gave it a good narrative structure. <laughs> Very clear and good size. Wow. Well, look at that. I'm an expert on Hades now. Not Did not a flame are? head mentioned. Not not no. even not even a hint. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, look at that. That's that's growth. <laughs> and that's the power of the mything link. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I suppose our final task in our series finale is to place Hades on the Iconometer. And this is the stakes are high, people. The because stakes this are is high. We're gonna crown a winner after this. So, just to recap, Sisyphus is at the top. Is Hades gonna beat him? Well, I think yes. I think yes. I'm gonna say it. I think Hades takes the top spot because he's basically everything that the myth. He he's what this show was made for. <laughs> In keeping with the expert sayings, yeah, your star. He he he's ha- had a bad rep. And we have uh, brought light to mm-hmm. his good parts. He uh, is an icon in his own right. And he's an icon with Persephone because they rule as equal. He's a feminist. I mean, what Come more? on. What more can you ask for? Wow, he really did it. You did it, Hades. You, you did, did it. it. You took Get the top you. spot. We've crowned a winner. How exciting. And in the finale episode crowned. as well. Oh, that is it. I mean, I mean, we didn't plan it, but good yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. Yeah, wraps up nicely. It's like we started with Zeus, who everybody always talks oh. about. And yeah. he's the worst. 
and we finish with Hades, who no one talks about, and he's and the best. best. He's great. Oh, I love, love him. And I think that that's, wraps that's, up. That wraps our up. series finale. And the whole series. series. (laughs) So if you have enjoyed this episode and this series, then follow us on Instagram at the mything link. That's the mything link. All one word, all lowercase, all good. And also make sure to use the hashtag mything link whenever you post. You know, let us know if you want a second series. We'd love to do one. So, you know, we might do it anyway, regardless of what you want. So (laughs) we might pick gemstones out of a hat and see what happens. (laughs) But yes, let us know your highlights of the series. um, Any questions you still have uh, about us (laughs) as people. (laughs) I'm sure we're very confusing. And, uh, you know, we we might do a little like Q&A sesh if we feel spicy. So, yeah. So keep, keep them coming in. You can also email us at mythinglinkpod at gmail.com. You can send us questions, fan art, ideas for future episodes, whatever Mm. you want, really. Yeah, go crazy. (laughs) Uh, What what fan art do you want to see from today? I feel like I really want to see, like, it's been, like, maybe 10 years since Orpheus, Mm -hmm. you know, screwed up his chances, and he's still playing the same goddamn song and everyone around him just <laughs> wants him to pony. shut the hell up yeah. <laughs> i just want to see how i want to see orpheus playing and everyone around him being like shut up Stop. Yeah. <laughs> we get it i love that and what do i want to see i want to see i want to see hades up on olympus where he deserves to be yes you know what i mean let's give him that he deserves on it. On the Mything Link throne. Yes. That's it. He, yeah, we need to... Somebody please seat him on the Mything Link throne with the Mything Link crown. Crown, absolutely. Deserves. I love that. Also, make sure to rate our podcast wherever you listen to us. I want to be a five-star podcast. That's what I want by the end of the year. That's my 2020 goal. And so far, we are a not enough reviews <laughs> podcast. So we... we <laughs> We need the five stars. Come on, gals. Let's get it. <laughs> and also, uh, tell your friends about us. If yes. you don't have any friends, uh, open up a hole in the ground, abduct them to your yeah. home, and force them to listen. <laughs> and that that's a Mything Link endorsed method of making friends. <laughs> 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 yes, so I think, apart from that, thus ends series one of the Mything Link. That is a wrap, baby. Any concluding words? Any concluding words? Wear a mask. Yes. Um, stay two meters away from people. That's it. This, this is a difficult situation, but we've got to stick through don't it. Don't drink drive. Don't drink uh, drive. And, and just have fun. Yeah, have fun. And most importantly, the Mything Link supports Black Lives Matter. Yes, we do. 100%. Black Lives Matter. Keep saying it. Breonna Taylor's murderers are still walking free, so that needs to change. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. Yeah. For the second series. Let's hope that we've got a series two of the Mythic <laughs> Let's hope the uh, let's hope corporate green lights a second series. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> <It's> no corporate. <laughs> oh gosh, our our theme tune next series will be uh, Orpheus's song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to get you in the <laughs> My wife is dead. <laughs> strum strum. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we bid you adieu. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon. See you for season two, maybe possibly. Fingers crossed.